Hi, my name is Colin Lasko, and I am a sophomore at Case Western Reserve University in Thermodynamics uh, Engineering 225. And today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys the difference between laminar versus turbulent flow uh, by using a kitchen faucet. So before I display the demo, I would like to just discuss a few quick topics um, and define laminar flow and turbulent flow. Uh, laminar flow uh, basically involves a smooth streamline um, and highly ordered molecules, which you'll be able to see in a moment. Whereas turbulent flow uh, involves a lot of velocity fluctuations between the molecules within the pipeline or within the streamline and um, also involves just highly disordered uh, molecules. Now in order to determine whether something is going to be laminar or turbulent, uh, we can use a tool called the Reynolds number. And the Reynolds number, uh, noted by RE, is a function of the density of the liquid times the velocity of the liquid times the diameter of the pipe divided by the dynamic viscosity. And when we plug all those numbers in, if the value is below 2300, roughly 2300, we usually say it's laminar flow. If it's between roughly 2300 and 10,000, then it's in transition. And if it's greater than 10,000, then it's turbulent flow. So what we've got is our kitchen faucet. And now I'm going to turn it on very lightly. Now if you notice, we've got a, a very nice streamline going here. Um, the water appears to be pretty straight um, and it doesn't appear to be bumpy or doing anything funny looking. Um, it's just a nice straight streamline which means the uh, molecules are highly ordered. Um, now if we increase the uh, velocity of the water and you can see it starts to get a little choppy and it's no longer just a very smooth streamline uh, but we've transitioned into turbulent flow. And we'll turn it back off and that's it. And now going back to our Reynolds number equation um, basically what happened, um, the, uh, the diameter of the pipe remained the same, that never changed, the dynamic viscosity of water never changed, and the density of water never changed. But the thing we did change was the velocity of the water. And as the velocity of the water increased, uh, we went from a uh, laminar into a turbulent flow. And so there you go. That's an example of laminar versus turbulent flow. Thank you.